in London actually to swear, but unfortunately, I'm not in the lovely eggs, <laughs> so I can't swear. So I said to him, this is an actual swearing word, so I went to the window, and this bloke, probably chap, was in London. Without speaking, though, that was the good thing. I just sort of went <laughs> like that. What? But the trouble is, he still didn't get the picture. So it carried on for about five minutes. I said, look, mate, you're round here at three o'clock in the morning. You're off your head on uh, whatever things make your eyes go like that. Drunk too much beer. But it was too bad. <laughs> but um, I said, you might just give me a bit of peace now. I said, you've got the wrong house. I said, it's not a house, it's a flat. Nothing like that, you know. 
chance to the Newcastle United show up. this 10 quid and he came back from the shops and he had uh, eight cans of Stella, <laughs> 10 uh, cigarette uh, royals or whatever, the, the cheap type stuff, but then he had enough to buy a tin of 21 pence best in value mints. An actual tin of that on the label. He wasn't sure if he was from Moss Side, Manchester, or Paisley, Devonshire. I'm sorry, we're getting confused with this. If you're from Moss Side, Manchester, you don't buy 21 pence of best in value mints. That's smart, I've been there, I know. The majority. out the window, he said, he 
down tonight because I've got brand new material and I've forgotten what it is. No, we don't do steel anymore. Salmonella. Uh, a good reggae group. <laughs> I do like reggae groups. only one million pounds return. I was watching Channel 4 News about a month ago. 100 million pounds return now it is. I was annoyed with uh, John Starr, I can tell you. Wolverhampton. I said to David, the van driver, I said, I'm going down the shop. Do you want anything? He said, yeah, get me a first class van. <laughs> I thought, well, I don't know, I'm not chanting for that. So I've gone down the shop, 20 fags, a couple of cans. I said, oh, I, uh, do you sell stamps, mate? He said, yeah. I said, I can have a first class stamp, please. He said, we only sell second class stamps. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> you can't beat a good true story. Like Bob Monkhouse, he would have loved to have told that one.
sure it's not as good as the Birmingham Evening Mail. Because the Birmingham Evening Mail has got the, just the right amount of news. It's never too much, never too little. Thank you. Right, I think I've had enough. I could go on for ages with the new material, but you're about to witness the best group you're ever going to see. Oh, you already have. The best two groups you're ever going to see, and we're on this stage tonight. Cheers to the eggs and the guys.